when you bomb Syria and Iraq and you kill communities and you kill children and old people and hospital, what is it? And why is it that United States is not doing anything? I do not read anybody in that body complaining about President, at the risk of being shot down, the numbers of people who have been killed on the streets of the Philippines since you came to power six weeks ago have risen to around a thousand. Now, I, you, I know you have been contemptuous of your critics, but they are accusing you of unleashing a national death squad. Where is this going to end? Because. Some are saying that the, the social fabric of the Philippines is at risk here. Good. That's a very good question. Because the other past, and the distant past, no police was ever willing to really work and risk her life, his life. You know, it was a practice before. That's why I said I take full responsibility. You know why? Because they are now encouraged and even brave enough to have a shoot up. The standard practice in the system of government is that when you accuse him, they would always file a counter charge and say that there's due process or that they were uh, un unarmed and anything, any answer that could give a leverage. And ordinarily, and you can check this out in the courts, they have to use that leverage against the poor policeman. Now, remember in this country, no lawyer is provided for the policemen and the other uh, men and the security officers when they, when, we, when they get into trouble with the law. They are left at the mercy on their own. That was the policy before and in the previous ones. They are left behind. So when I was mayor, I told them, go ahead, do your duty. But if you feel that you're in carrying out your duty, you will get killed. My God, shoot him first. And they were protected here, and there were cases filed, and I provided the lawyer. And for the time that they are suspended, that is why they are afraid. They face charges in court, then at the same time, when they are accused, they lose the job because they are suspended. And for the time that they are suspended, and the hearing of cases can take you to eternity as slow as it can ever be. The family is not without food. But with respect, sir, you as a lawyer know yes. better than any of us how important this principle of innocent until proved well, guilty is. Look, Pedia said two years ago, there are three million addicts in this country. That was the last figure. Nobody cared to find out. Now it's my time. So, three years, uh, two, two years ago, between two years ago and now, how many do you think were hooked into drugs? They must give it incremental increase of about, just be liberal about 7,000, 700,000. So 3 million 700,000. And they confirm 600,000 now was surrendered and took the test for drug addiction. How do you call it? Just a problem? Is just a police problem? Or is it really a crisis for this country? It's not even epidemic, my friend. It is pandemic. So what am I supposed to do as a president? Empower the military and the police for after all they are there to protect the integrity and preserve the people of the Philippines. At the risk of gun law, sir. <laughs> it can happen. It, it, ha it happens in America. They're shooting the blacks there. It shows on TV. It shows on TV. What's the difference between America and the Philippines? Nothing. So what is surprising here is surprising to us. We see policemen, they're shooting a black guy there. How many times? But it happened in the past. That's why you have the, demonst the violent demonstration. So, would it surprise you and me? 
almost the same. One case only, three cases. So what? It involves the same principle. Say for every one block there dead, you have about five here. And so, does it make uh, this world more livable because there is less killing? The, when you shoot <laughs> a block there dead, what is that? Is that not appalling? When you bomb Syria and Iraq and you kill communities and you kill children and old people and hospital, what is it? And why is it that United States is not doing anything? I do not read anybody in that body complaining about the stench there of death. Look at the iconic boy uh, that was uh, taken out from the rubble. And he was made to sit in the ambulance and we saw it. So what's the difference? Life of a criminal or maybe he was really rubbed out. We cannot discount it. But what do you think the other Americans did to the black people there? Is that not rubbing out also? I say, well, it was just uh, one community there, one state of America. <laughs> well, but you have there about 10. So what's the difference? Are we here for the counting or the basic principles of human rights? Almost the same. Okay, thank you, sir. Thank you, President Rodrigo Roa Duterte, for six years in service for the Filipino people. Your true service will remain in the hearts of everyone. May God bless you.